set 1900 meters and away they go from the 1900 meter marker Everest the Grey is right there, Joshua's crown, spinner coin near the rail. Don Vita has the red cap on the outside and they're followed by Caribbean Day. Barakas in the yellow silks. Then comes Auction King. At this stage, flight warning, giving them about six, seven lengths start as they go down that back stretch and head towards the 1400 meter marker. And it's Everest in front. Barakai in the yellow's moved up. Don Vito's got the red cap. Joshua's crown is near the rail. Caribbean Day head up in the air for a couple of strides. Then spin a coin. Auction King is further back in the field. Then flight warning. The last two big bird is racing about eight or nine lengths off the leader as they go towards the 900 meter marker. So as they go towards the 900 meter marker, and Barakar has gone on now, Everest is back second, and Joshua's crown is third. Don Vito with the red cap back fourth, and then comes Spinner Coin. Caribbean Days in the blue, they're tracing about six lengths off the leader. They're followed by Flight Warning and Auction King, they're about seven or eight lengths off the lead. Then comes Big Bird and Philanthropic. Now returning to the home stretch and Barakar by two. Everest is back second. Joshua's crown between the two. Don Vito is further back with the red cap. Spinner coin is on the inside. Then auction King Caribbean Day. Everest now moves up. That's the grey. Barakar on the inside. Spinner coin. Joshua's crown. Further back Caribbean Day. But it's Everest as they come to the 300 meter marker. And it's Everest. Spinner coin. Joshua's crown. Auction King is trying to run on from behind. And Everest though is the one to beat. And Everest is going on. Everest, yeah. Spinner coin tries to close in late. But Everest is home and O's and Everest won it by about three second spinner coin then auction king Joshua's crown Caribbean day Number three, Everest, the son of Sarge. And this is Anton Marcus. St. John Gray owns, St. John Gray trains, and this Greystone stud. Nice to see St. John Gray, this part of the world. And Everest records its fourth win from 10 outings and wins it well. Went to the lead, slowed it down, got passed by Barakar, kicks on well again. Nice run from Spinner Coin, number nine in second. Auction King stays on for their third position. Joshua's crown, Caribbean days further back in the field. Then Barakar, followed by Don Vito. And further back in the field is Flight Warning. And then Big Bird. So as we look out there, on Extreme Outside. The Extreme Outside is the grey Everest still under the hands. And now Anton gets it a kick. And then Everest rushes away from Spinner Coin, Auction King, Joshua's Crown. But victory is for Everest, who succeeds at the business end. A race time, 114,99 until the eighth race. Back to the studio. Right, Everest. Everest was the horse that everyone thought had to win this race. And uh, St. John Gray bred it. He owns it and uh, he trains it as well. And uh, it's nice to see him down here. He's come down and picked a plum spot for this horse, Everest, who's by Sarge. And I've got uh, Kirsten Kuna, who's come down to represent uh, Rathmore Stud, will be handing out the prize. But let me have a quick word with St. John. Well done, St. John. Yes, thanks, Paul. You know, it's, this was the right race for him, uh, you know, following upon the, uh, the daily news. And, um, yeah, well, you know, congratulations must go to the Natal Breeders, uh, of which I'm one. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's a great day that, that, uh, that Chris and, the, and his team put on, and uh, together with Gold Circle, and congratulations to everyone. Any more runners today? Yes, I've got two more in the... Da -da. I think you've got enough now, yeah, but here we are. Take your, your prize from uh, Kirsten. Congratulations to your winning owner. Winning, there's an owner's one as well, uh, if you'll grab that as well. Uh, <laughs> uh, owner, breeder, and trainer all go into St. John. 
and uh, I don't know if the if the the winning groom is here. Another one for Sinjin. Yeah, there we are. He's got the lot. But the winning groom is here, Ilias Koza. If uh, we can just get him in there for a photograph, Ilias, they've got an envelope for you. Let Ilias. D don't run away, Sinjin. But let, let, can he just give him his uh, Sinjin? Just give him his envelope. Okay. There we go. The winner of the seventh race, Noble Tune Kwazulu Natal Breeders, Phillies and Mares. No. And uh, certainly wasn't Phillies and Mares, but uh, there we go. Everest has won it for St. John Grey. And uh, there's his groom, Elliot Causa, who's finally getting his envelope.